today we will discuss acceptance so what is meaning of acceptance if you remember the contract class that is the first class of contract law you must understood what is meaning of acceptance because we have discussed that there but in this video we will be discussing something in detail so what are the key terms that we will discuss in this video let's check it out first one of course meaning and concept of acceptance the second one is essential elements of acceptance the third one interesting fact of acceptance next one is communication of acceptance revocation of acceptance next one promises expressed or implied and the lastly case study so we have this much key terms that we will be discussing in this video and i believe you must know so many things because we are repeatedly doing the same thing but previous one was in respect of proposal offer this one is in respect of acceptance but more or less the provision is same and the meaning is same okay only you need to change the place so let's begin with the meaning of acceptance what does it mean that suppose if someone comes to you and asks you that he wants to buy your property whether you are interested in selling your property or not well if you accept it that becomes the acceptance this is a different thing that you might be keeping certain terms and conditions and all but you accept his proposal that is known as acceptance so see how the law defines the meaning of acceptance as defined in section 2b of the indian contract act when the person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent thereto the proposal is said to be accepted a proposal when accepted becomes a promise so it is basically the definition of promise but it is saying that how and what acceptance is as i have discussed in my example that if you say yes that is acceptance and that's okay so acceptance of an offer is the expression by word or conduct just focus here we will be discussing it and we need to understand this by expression we have discussed expressed offer so similarly expressed acceptance so if you say yes or you have written the your acceptance so that is expressed either you said verbally or you in written form that is expressed by word or conduct conduct means you didn't say anything but the thing you are exercising the kind of and the way you are doing the things that is implied so through conduct means it is implied so keep in mind of assent to the terms of the offer in the manner prescribed or indicated by the offerer so what does it mean that again you need to understand one more point in this sentence that is prescribed or indicated by the offerer so if offerer keeping certain terms and conditions so it's not like that you are just accepting only rather you have to also accept that to those terms and conditions or else that won't be a valid acceptance so you have to accept as per the terms and conditions now the next point that we are going to discuss is essential elements of acceptance what are those it must be communicated so it means you must need to communicate with the person who proposed you so you are giving your assent so you are giving your reply next one it should be absolute means it's not like that you are saying something we okay i will accept but let you know later or something like that so it has to be absolute and clear it should be accepted or expressed in prescribed manner we have discussed that means what are the terms and conditions are given there you have to accept accordingly lastly it has to be expressed until the offer is valid means we have discussed as well that point 
if I proposed you something and given you time that if you accept and given five days fine or else I will do something else or whatever. So if you accept or you reply me in given five days fine or else it won't be valid. On sixth day it's up to me whether you I accept your reply or not. So your reply is valid until five days. So that is the essential elements of acceptance. Next one is interesting fact of acceptance. This is interesting one really. Silence doesn't mean acceptance. Well, of course, if someone come to you and proposed something, you didn't reply whether yes or no. It doesn't mean that you accept it. So silence is not the sign of acceptance at all. It has to be expressed as we have seen that in the elements of a valid acceptance. Next one is communication of acceptance. As defined under section 4 of Indian Contract Act, the communication of acceptance is complete as against the proposer when it is put in a course of transmission to him so as to be out of the power of the acceptor. So once you being an acceptor, you replied, yes, I am ready. So from your side, communication is done. Now you cannot do anything. Next point, as against the acceptor, when it comes to the knowledge of the proposer. Okay, so for you being an acceptor, it is completed when the person whom you replied come to know. So now you don't have any opportunity or any chance to revoke that. Okay, so your reply is to the proposer, you are done. Okay, so two terms and conditions here in order to understand the communication of acceptance. The first one is the moment you said it is done for the proposer side, whether he received or not. But for you, it is done once it is delivered to that person, means to proposer. Then you cannot revoke. So this is the meaning and while discussing the revoke, I will repeat this again. So don't worry and try to understand this. So next topic is of course revocation of acceptance. See, as per section 4 of the Indian Contract Act, the communication of a revocation is complete as against the person who makes it when it is put into a course of transmission to the person to whom it is made so as to be out of the power of the person who makes it. What does it mean that? We have discussed in my previous concept as well, that is communication of acceptance. So as against the person who makes it, when it is put into a course of transmission to the person to whom it is made, so as to be out of the power of the person who makes it. So once you said that, it is out of the thing that you cannot do, you already delivered the things. And for the person for whom you said that, it is done. And the second sentence saying here, as against the person to whom it is made when it comes to his knowledge. So when he came to know about your acceptance, that is done. Okay, so we have discussed already the same thing under the heading communication of acceptance. Okay. So, as per the section 5 of Indian Contract Act and this provision will resolve your all doubts regarding this. An acceptance may be revoked at any time before the communication of the acceptance is complete as against the acceptor but not afterwards. Of course, we are repeatedly discussing the same sentence. It is repetition. You can say that but you need to understand that there is purpose behind this. We are repeating again and again the same thing. So, that is the thing that once you proposed something and the person whom you proposed he accepted and that message delivered to you. So it is no more in his capacity to revoke that. But until you receive it, his reply, in the meantime, he can revoke that. So this is the revocation process and provision. Now the next point is promises expressed or implied. 
we have discussed offer expressed or implied the same thing as per the section 9 of indian contract act in so far as the proposal or acceptance of any promise is made in words the promise is said to be expressed so of course if it is written or oral that is through words that is expressed but in so far as such proposal or acceptance is made otherwise then in words the promise is said to be implied so what does it mean that see there there are number of examples of implied promise that is basically acceptance regarding the general offer that we have discussed in my last video that is someone lost and the person offered some prize money one who supposed to be giving the information about the lost person he will be giving 25000 rupees so in this case it is not essentially required to go to that person to that offerer and accept that now yes i am accepting your offer not at all you are start finding that person if you find that and you give the information you will get the prize money because that is general offer so anyone can accept that and your act is acceptance so it is an implied acceptance that is proved through the act not through the words so this is the expressed and implied acceptance now we have the last point of this video that is case study and in this case you will understand the offer and acceptance because this is an english case and very popular case which name is carlil versus carbolic smoke ball okay it is very old case what happened in this case the facts of this case was basically carlil was a buyer of medicine manufactured by defendant who was defendant that is a smoke ball company and carbolic smoke ball was a medicine manufacturing company the carbolic smoke ball company made a medicine and advertised publicly that this medicine will treat influenza permanently and the person who will use that medicine will never suffer from this disease that is influenza and one who supposed to again infected by the influenza he will be given the reward of pound 100 and for this purpose he is depositing 1000 pound in the bank that is namely alliance bank okay so who supposed to be coming to him with the complaint he will get the reward so this was the fact of the case and the person the plaintiff that is carlyle he bought the medicine and used that medicine as per the given direction but he again infected by the influenza so he went and asked for the reward money but the company that is a smoke ball company refused to give so he filed a lawsuit against him then in the court what he argued basically smoke ball that it was not an intention rather i made advertisement for the marketing purpose so i wasn't interested or intended to give the reward secondly second argument that he made that is this is not an offer because it is something like general information that he made it public and not given particularly to any person so again this is not an offer and third argument that the smoke ball company made in the court that is even the person who claiming that is plaintiff didn't accept that so what court observed in this case that regarding the first point that is it was not an intention rather just did it for the advertisement purpose okay to boost the marketing of the company and all so court basically said that counter argued on this argument that is depositing the money in the bank that that is enough to tell the things that you are intended your intention was there to give the reward money so you cannot say like that 
the second point at he argued regarding the it is not made to particular person so it is not an offer rather it's a, a kind of general information kind of thing then court argued basically counter argued that it is a general offer that anyone can accept so we have discussed that general offer remember that a specific offer and a general offer so it is a general offer so it comes under the general offer and then lastly acceptance of the offer since offer didn't come to him and expressed his interest that he is ready to accept this so it is not an acceptance so communication is not done you remember communication of offer communication of acceptance so all the terms being used here so again on this argument court counter argued that for the general offer the acts the sign of the person is enough to fulfill the condition because it is remember it is an implied acceptance because that is accepted through the sign or your behavior so the court decided the case in favor of the carlyle so this is the case of acceptance and offer likewise this is all for this video we have discussed so many points regarding the acceptance that is of course starting with the meaning and concept of the acceptance and then essential elements of acceptance interesting fact of acceptance communication of acceptance revocation of acceptance and express and implied acceptance along with the case study so i believe you must understood now what is the acceptance as well as an offer and also proposal because everything is going to be help you to understand the concept of contract please keep in mind because we are basically discussing the concept of contract and these are the principles of contract so keep in mind so see you in next video